Hey guys, my name is Nick and I'm a Microsoft 365 Certified Expert Administrator. I do a lot of content for the MSP space. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the MMAT tool from Microsoft. So it's the MDM Migration Assessment Tool. This is a tool you can run uh, against your group policy objects to see if they're going to be compatible with Intune. So as we begin to look at migrating everything to the cloud as far as Active Directory goes, one of the biggest pieces that uh, you'll need to assess is the group policy objects that you have in place. Great thing with Intune is that they've built out a lot of policies and configurations that mimic traditional group policy objects. Uh, so you want to really do an assessment to see whether or not uh, this would be a good move for you and where some of the policies that you can't mimic would be and uh, see if that's a deal breaker or not. So within the M365 portal here, you can go under the device management section and that'll take you into the MDM dashboard here for Microsoft 365. And within the dashboard here, you have the ability to create new policies for compliance uh, and create new configurations for the devices that you do enroll in. This encompasses not only Windows 10 devices, but also uh, your Android, iOS, and Mac devices as well too. So I want to show you real quick before we get into the actual tool here, um, some of the profiles that you can create that mimic group policies. So within here, the biggest one that you can set up here is if you click on create profile and you come into the platform for Windows 10. I'm just going to call this um, GPO and I'm going to select administrative template and click on create. So within the settings here, you'll notice a lot of these settings are traditional group policy objects that have been moved into uh, this template. And you can search through these and choose which ones that you want to turn on, much like the common settings that you would see in group policy. Um, so one of the common ones I like to just show, usually because people are used to it, is the ability to go ahead and sync OneDrive accounts um, with Windows credentials through the silent known folder move, things of that nature. So there's a lot in here um, that you can do from the standpoint of traditional ADMX uh, policies and things of that nature. The other ones that you can configure that are like GPOs is again another profile that we can create for Windows 10 devices or Windows 8. And you can come in here and you can say, okay, I want it to have device restrictions. Um, and part of the device restrictions, you can set up um, password requirements or configuration settings like the start menu layout or anything of that nature. Endpoint protection will get you set up with um, encryption policies like configuring BitLocker and things of that nature. So I'd uh, employ you to come in and explore some of these settings and see um, how complex your group policy environment is. So I preface by showing you this um, between the profiles and between the compliance policies that you do set up. I do think it can replicate a lot of the, the common group policy objects you would see in a typical SMB environment. Um, but one of the tools Microsoft created is this MMAT tool. So again, MDM Migration Assessment Tool. This is something that you can run on your DC or you can run on an uh, individual client computer just to say, okay, these are the, the group policy objects that we can mimic and these are the ones that you're going to have to figure out if it's necessary or what the path will be to recreate that within Intune. So I've got a computer already stood up here. This is the site that you would go to. It's on GitHub. You can search GitHub, MMAT, or I'll link this below in the video. Um, but this is the site where you go and you can configure um, and download the migration analysis tool. So I'm on an individual device right here and on the very front page it gives you all the instructions that you would need. Um, but the biggest thing we need to do is come here to the cloner download, click on download zip. And we'll go ahead and open this. So you'll notice that it puts it here in um, this app data workflow from the cookie or the, the breadcrumb trail here. What I like to do is actually move this file into a easier location. I can remove it afterwards, but I just copy the file in there so it's a it's an easier path to navigate to. 
Um, so we have that listed here now and we have everything within this tool including the PS1 file that we're going to need to run here. So the biggest thing that you'll need to do is uh, run PowerShell as administrator and I recommend running the ISC. So from here we'll click on yes. All right, that's starting up here. So there's a few different commands that we need to run on the particular device itself. So I like to pull up the script here. Oops. And back in this tool, I like to copy this here. Just open up a notepad because it's all jumbled together. And we'll paste this in here. And there's a couple of different times you're going to need to break what's in there. So these are the commands that we'll need to run as different line items. We'll come back to ISC here, paste that in there. And then the other thing that you'll need to do is to find the, the path here. So we'll just do CD, C, and then um, oops, again to find the path here. this real quick let's go ahead and run this just make sure I can find that okay and now we'll set the execution policy so yes to all we'll define our variable here And then we'll run the PS1 script. And here's saying OK. We're going to run it once. And saying, hey, OK, you need to install the remote server administration tools. So we'll come back here and Go back to the tool here, and we'll open this up in a new tab. It's going to give us a message. Do you want to follow the updates? And you'll say yes. Say so accept. And wait for this to install. And I'm going to briefly pause while this completes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back now and the installation is complete. So now we can go back to PowerShell and simply rerun our previous command. So I'll go ahead and highlight this again and run. And we're gonna say, yep, once. This is actually going through and doing its assessment. So we'll wait just for a new command line. Okay, so we're back here and the tool is completed and we've got our new command line here. So we can go back to our file path that we defined before we ran the entire script. And you'll see here now you have the analysis uh, output. So we have our HTML and XML files. Typically I just like to click on the HTML one to see the report here. Um, so this is something where you can thoroughly go through and look for the supported policies here. So this will tell you the ones that they do support 
and what this URI is that you can configure or look for. Get in that administrative template section. Um, you can do custom templates as well, and you can define the uh, URI there. Um, that's if it's not already in there. This is telling us what uh, domain policies are um, not compatible, they're not supported, and security options here, and then ADMX based policies, disable MDM enrollment, um, device registration. So some of these things that you can figure out if they're business critical or not. Um, this is another one where I have a map drive here and this is a script, it's a startup script that is run. Um, and this is something that you can mimic either by doing the uh, Intune group policy one or um, basically setting out that PowerShell script. So you need to assess these. I would get familiar with the things that you can do in Intune, run this then, and then assess which GPOs are most important to you and which ones are critical. But this whole form will help you evaluate that. That's everything I wanted to show you guys. If you have any feedback or comments, please comment below on the video. Thanks and have a great day.